you, my hair is just like flip-flopped mess. Before I can actually get in there and move everything, I have to go do a walkthrough with my real estate agent to make sure everything's there that was included in the listing. It's not like you go there and there's like a whole bunch of garbage in your backyard. It's like, um, this wasn't on the contract. So that's what the walkthrough is. It's just like making sure there's no new holes in the wall or things are missing that you said that were gonna be there. Stuff like that. These bags that are so ghetto, but it's like the best way to take clothes with you is just in a whole bunch of garbage bags. That's because I have so much clothes that garbage bags, even though it looks kind of ratchet, is the best. And then these recycling bags are the best for shoes. My room right now is looking like this. I'm so excited to move you guys. And a lot of you guys were asking me, did I buy a house? Did I rent a house? Did I got an apartment? I bought a house and my juicer. Take my juicer first for good luck. So I I just got to my house. Um, I don't want to show it and I don't want to like really do a house tour just because for security reasons like just let's just say somebody knows where I live and knows the address of my house and if I do a house tour it's like oh there's your front door there's your security system oh there's where your windows are and all this like it's just unsafe you know oh, there's your bedroom there's where this is okay I can hide in here and here's your closet you know it's just unsafe but I will show you guys like things in there what's up so it is like supper time now I'm just waiting I'm gonna be the leader I'm going first with a bunch of stuff in my car this is like almost all my tank tops right here on my seat I have a bunch of stuff back there and then my trunk is also full my mom is in front of me but she's this car right here she has a full car my brother's right there in his car no. oh <laughs> I'm supposed to go <laughs> so I just pulled up to my house it's the next day I'm by myself for the first time in my house I'm by myself I just pull up and then I look at my phone and I see that a lot of people are telling me that Talia just passed away. I was expecting to pull up to my house and be happy like I'm here for my very first time alone and you know, I don't even know what to say. I know that she's watching down on all of us and she loves us. I love you, Talia. You are my inspiration. You will always be my inspiration. She just has a beautiful soul and it will carry on for eternity. I just want you guys all to know that life is very precious and there's no need to have hatred in this world or making fun of somebody because of their hair or if they pronounce a word wrong or you know, like what they're wearing. It, seriously, life is so precious and it can be gone in a blink of an eye. And times you, you can never get back. There's not much more I can say to that because I mean, everyone can't just be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do that. You have to truly want it and feel it within yourself. I used to be a bitchy girl. Like when I was in grade seven, I'd say, just be like, ew, 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 look at her hair. And then I had actually a big revelation doing a lot of soul searching and finding myself and seeing what I truly want in life. And I just chose to take every life as precious and treat everybody with respect and be nice to everybody. I think this moment does have a lot of truth to that. I hope everybody is doing okay. I sent all my prayers to Talia's family. Hey guys, so I just got ready at my house and I got my TV and my internet hooked up. The guys took like three hours to install my TV and internet. Bye. So, whoa. Oh, it looked blue out there. Does it look blue out there? My bed is still at my parents' house, so I just bought one of these like air mattresses. Should be fun. Just for a few days, you know. I got all my tank tops. I know it's ridiculous. They go like all the way back there. All my tank tops on here and I still have room. So this house was meant for me and yes, it's very pink. And me and my mom are gonna go grocery shopping because I need some groceries. I just moved in. And then I'm also gonna get my dogs. Hello. I'm going grocery shopping. My nails. But there's something weird going on in the park, you guys. There's like a tow truck and a cop car. Like it's hung up or something, that cop car. I'm not yeah, sure what's car, going on. Yeah, the car lo cop car looks stuck, so a tow truck's trying to get him out. Right there. Well, the tow Dude, truck's leaving. Dude. Why did he go driving in the freaking sandbox? <laughs> Like, what in the world? Maybe what he was chasing, on? right? Some Chasing in the park? Kid, right? <laughs> Not Hello! Oh! It is now nighttime, and I am now bringing my dogs. I have just like a bag left to bring, and I have both of my doggies in here, and they have no idea where they're going. But it's my first night being spent in that house alone. I didn't get to spend too much time in it today, but here we go. So excited. I love my house so much. Thank you guys for following along. 